What's up, son? April 26th, week 10. Right now, I'm just going to put up the backdrop right over here, as you can see. I'm gonna install the backdrops to the two sections on this side and on that side, work that a little bit. I might do the section over there in the corner over the next couple days. We'll see how that works out. And uh, we'll come back from that right now. I'll see you in a minute. All right, this side's up. We're gonna go around and do the other side right quick. Takes a couple minutes each side and uh, quick and easy. So check it out, I'm putting it up. As you can see, I can't see anything behind there, so I put lines right there. I made this little template so it would be like this to show the top board along there. Stay to the right, and I just. Like I said, right here shows you where the two by three is behind. As well as here. So there you go, yo. This is obviously gonna curve. It will end up going right here. Giving you a nice curve, as I told you guys in videos before. No sharp lines. Got it? I'm gonna put up here, which again is gonna block off my area over there, kind of feel claustrophobic, but this needs to be done next. Okay, so I'm coming over to this side. I just put this board up right here. This is two foot by eight foot. The reason why I put that up there is because the TV's on the other side. <clears throat> so even though I'm gonna put the backdrop up to it, I wanted to add this extra layer behind here because the speakers are behind the TV and they bounce back and it bounces back that way, giving good sound to the front, but also dead net to hear if somebody's watching TV in there and I'm working like a Darius right now. So as you can see, a Darius is over here watching YouTube videos up down here. And I love being in the desert. And this stuff was mad loud. Say what up. It's good. What up? It's good for the soul. And he had it mad loud, so the speakers, as you've seen, as you're probably gonna hear in the video, speakers go out the back and we're shooting over here and all I could hear was the TV so before I put the backdrop um, supports up I wanted this here as an extra layer for sound deadening that's all see think of shit like this and do it oh before I get over to that section I know when you guys are gonna ask me someone's gonna ask me so before I get there listen this is a good tool right here this allows you to cut without you know taking everything off and using a skill saw, this is a really good tool. And the reason why I'm showing you that tool is because as you're gonna see right here, the trains are going to come through here and disappear through the wall. So even though I put the backdrop up, eventually I'll cut a hole so that they have to go through and I'll go right through. So, as I put this up right now, it's gonna cover all that up, but the trains will go in between the, the supports that are there at some point, you know, probably not the top one, probably not in between the first and second. Probably in between the second and third. What's up, y'all? Yo, as you can see, I build my bench work nice and strong. So standing on it, it's okay. There you go. Now I can do the sections, put the rest of it up, and the section that's right behind the camera is gonna take smaller screws. I wanna counter sink those as I told you guys before because when the backdrop goes up, I don't want it to go over the screws. You know, I don't want the screws protruding. I want the screws counter sunk and then I'll fill them in so when the backdrop goes over it, nice and smooth. No sharp lines, son. No sharp lines. Cool, yo, cool. What's up, what's up? Okay, guys, this ends day one of probably a two-day project of doing some work. As you can see, I put all the backdrop up for most of everything that's there, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at this right now. As you saw, I put these two sections up just last, and I just mudded it. No big deal. Here's the lounge. So 
take a look. This whole thing is coming to fruition about what I had uh, made in the graph. It's pretty cool, I'm excited. The very next step I'm gonna do to work on is gonna be right here. I was, wasn't too sure about it because this is gonna block my way around here, but I'll do this one little section here, and then I'm gonna work to get that section over there closed up and the backdrop up. Once I finish that, then I'll do this, and then I will go with the loop, and that should be it. The trains will not take this sharp left right here, or sharp right if they're coming this way. There will be a 45 degree section added right here, so they take nice, long, sweeping turns. There you go. What's up guys, the very next day. I did something different today, guys. Something totally different, because I accidentally bought an LED light. I didn't say anything about this before, but I accidentally bought an LED light last week. I put it up there and I was like, oh shit, why is it got all the dots in it? I'm like, oh, it's LED. So today I bought five more. So I ha now have three lights that are all full LEDs. I like it. I assume it's going to use up less electricity as well. So I'm going to go ahead and convert all these over. You might be like, oh, no big deal, right? Well, yeah, big deal because the original lights that I had for here were like $9.70 a piece and I have around 46. I'm going to need around a total of 50 more to completely do all these over. So do the math. They're 11.90 a piece times 50 plus taxes. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. So I'll work on that side, this side, and I'm gonna try to get over to that over there. Keep this video out. So let me get to putting uh, my measurements out. I made measurements there. And you see they have uh, angles and stuff for the cuts. After doing my math and doing measuring over there, this is what I come out with. I'm gonna put it all together. Hopefully it's all right. We'll find out soon. I have no idea. That's it, that's all I do. Did I go underneath, tighten the rest of them up, and do all this other shit? Let's do it. this movie maybe I'll come back and finish uh, the other side and then go from there if not I'll see you guys tomorrow what up what up what up what's up guys I'm back next day right now I'm just doing measurements and figuring out angles so I'm figuring out how far this is gonna be this is gonna be wider towards the end because I want it to be this way as far as I want it to loop to be more on this side as opposed to that side over there as I explained in the earlier video all right, guys, I just did measurements. I put it all together down here. It's not permanently put together, but it's put together so it holds here to see if my measurements are correct. So, time to give it the test. Yo! 
Yes, son. Yes, son. Looking good, son. Looking good. I love these uh freaking horses. Corona. Using my beautiful new um, finish nail that I love. Son, perfect. Looking good, looking good. Quick, easy little uh, step by step building this layout. That's it. Quick and easy, fellas. It's about three days worth of work, an hour, hour and a half each day, not too much. And that finishes up week 10. Now, when I finish up week 10, what that means is I'm 95% done of my whole layout bench work. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that shit. The main work that I have left to do is I'm standing in it right now. As you can see, this is going to be the loop. So I'm going to build the loop as I've seen previous uh, model wear order builders do in the past. It's going to be built that form, which we'll see later. In the meantime, I'm going to finish up building over this section over there in front of one of here. And that's pretty easy, pretty cool. So once I do this and that, I will be complete with all the bench work. So if you can imagine that, I have 5% left in just two and a half months. It's pretty, pretty good. You have any more ideas, throw them over my way. I'm more than welcome to accept ideas and come up with other plans and things like that. Um, in the meantime, make sure you subscribe. As I said before, make sure you subscribe to a brother. I'm spending my own money to do this layout, to do everything. I'm not sponsored by nobody, so I'm not under control. I can cuss and swear and do what I want. I've always done what I want anyway. I'm not controllable. I'm having fun with this. I'm showing you my fun. It's real. It's off the hook. I'm having a blast down here. And uh, I've said that a million times before, right? I'm having a blast down here. But make sure you subscribe. In the meantime, your boy Al's gonna be out so I can edit this video and get this video to you guys. So I will see you on the rebound. Peace out. I'll do the last verse that I burst that is my curse Your night and rhyming on oh, my sentimentalist Lay all grand dragons Grab the sharpest number two then I'm stabbing Somebody let me hold a number two pencil cause they test me Somebody let me hold a number two pencil cause they test me I fly through the night Yeah, mix and fall with some Sprite Lyrics we put inside ya Listen to these ATL riders Keep your head straight This street's full of snakes